Hi, I'm Andy Glass with Glass Impressions. A high quality CNC system like the CNC Shark HD3 with extended bed from Next Wave Automation available at rockler.com needs something to control it. Essentially it needs a brain to tell it what to do and when to do it. Next Wave Automation CNC Shark control panel does exactly that. Today I'd like to bring you in for a closer look, show you its features and functionalities. Stick around and I hope you enjoy. Now that we have the CNC Shark control panel open, you can get a good idea of what the interface looks like. In this in-depth look, we will start from top to bottom, left to right, and we'll go briefly over each item, and then we'll go back in and get an in-depth look. So on the top left, we have File, View, Help, and Info. Below that, we have the Part Coordinates, and then we can set the X, Y, and Z zero positions. Below that is the readout of the X, Y, and Z position of the gantry. The FRO or feed rate override and a scroll bar. Below that is the detect touch plate if you have the uh, Z0 touch plate accessory. And then you have the move to 000, load G code. In the middle, this square here is a preview file of your G code. Run file. Continue, pause, and e-stop or emergency stop. On the right-hand panel, on the top you have file name, g-code tab, and your jog tab. And then you also have the preferences. And then in the jog tab you have fast, medium, slow, your step value, and your jog buttons for your x, y, and z axes. So let's go over here to the top left and go back to file. In the file tab you have load G code, your favorites, recent files, preferences, and exit the control panel. View you have grid lines, help you have about, control panel help, check for software updates, register your next wave product, enter registration key. In the info tab you have view release notes, next wave announcements, registration information. In the part coordinates, there's a set button. You can click that and you can move your carriage to a position of your desired choosing. Type in your values and then hit set. Or you can use the X, Y, Z, 0 buttons to zero out the axes all at once. Or you can individually zero out the axes of the X, Y, and Z uh, separately. Below that we again have our readout of where our carriage is placed. They have an individual line for both the X, Y, and Z axes. Below that it shows you your... Um, below that you have your measurement. In this case I'm working in inches. And then you have feed rate override. Feed rate override is um, an ability to change your uh, surface feet or inches or millimeters uh, per minute. So typically I run my program files a little bit faster because I know I have the ability to slow them down. So you can use this scroll bar and then review the uh, percentage over on the left hand side or you can use these arrows to adjust the scroll bar in turn adjusting the value. So for example, if I have my file set to 50 inches per minute and when I start the file all of a sudden I notice it is way too fast, well I can slow that down by adjusting the scroll bar. So for example, at 50 inches a minute, if I bring it down to 50, it is now at 25 inches per minute. Below that is detect touch plate. I have a separate video out on the touch plate so I encourage you to go check that out. Below that is move to 000 or your home position. So up here when you set your Z0 and your X0 and your Y0 and you move your carriage either to access your material, add additional clamps or what have you, you can come back down here and move your carriage to 000. So for example, if I move my carriage and you notice over here that now my X axis is in a zero spot or a different spot, I can click move to 000 and my carriage 
will go back. Now my Z has moved to 0.53 because that is the safe working height that I have set it at. So for display purposes, I will hit the Z0 and now that is zeroed out to be where I would like it. Below move to 000 or home is load G code file. So if you click load G code file, you can open your file or design that you have uh, specifically saved for this this type of CNC shark control panel and in this center panel it gives you a good preview of what exactly your G code is in the top left hand corner of the center panel you have your material size your X axis and your Y axis so when you load your material you can double check and make sure that you're loading the correct size material in the bottom hand of the middle panel, you have run file, you have continue, pause, and e-stop or emergency stop. So when I click run file, it I have it set up to where it brings my detect touch plate or my Z0 touch plate accessory up. So for this case, I will hit exit, and it will calculate the G-code file and put it into your controller in case your computer loses power. So now when I'm ready, I can turn on my spindle or router and press OK. In this middle pane, you can see that these green lines are previewing where your spindle is. Not, not so much previewing, but showing you on your digital CAD file. Now if you go back to the left hand side, you can see that your X, Y, and Z readout is changing. Uh, representing to where your spindle is uh, to your home position. Now when we switch over to actually let's go back down to pause if we hit the pause button your g-code file operation will stop it will pause on the line of g-code it is on. For some reason if you have to pause it you can go ahead and click continue and it will continue running its g-code file. If there's a failure or you need to stop it in a uh, very fast uh, motion, you can click the E stop button. As this thing continues, if you look on the right hand side of the pane, on your top you have file, which gives you the file name and then the approximate time it's going to take to cut the file. On the left hand side you have a G code tab, which is right here and that is showing the exact line of g-code it is on as it is cutting out the file. So now we can click emergency stop, emergency stop, so now that is shut off and it went back to the home position. If we click the jog tab, this is automatically up, but I'll scroll this over here. You can click in between these to make the panes bigger or smaller. On the jog tab, you have fast, medium, or slow. Now these are pre-set speeds for your to move your carriage, or you can click the step and then adjust your step value with the plus or minus, or enter it in here with your number keys. Below that, you have your X, Y, and Z jog buttons to move your carriage, and then on the top, in between the two panes, you have preferences. Now I'm not going to get into the preferences here in this video. But this should give you a good overview of the CNC Shark control panel. I hope you guys enjoyed this in-depth look at the brains of my CNC Shark HD3 with extended bed from Next Wave Automation, available at rockler.com. If you'd like to know more information on my CNC or other CNCs by Next Wave Automation, head over to your local Rockler or visit rockler.com. If you'd like to know more information on glass impressions, I encourage you to visit my website, andyglassimpressions.com, or search for me on YouTube, Glass Impressions, as I release frequent woodworking and CNC content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.